Hi, welcome to Free Do Hub. Today, on our short tutorial, we are going to understand Apache Web Server. How can we set it up on our Kali box? Apache Web Server is used in order to host websites on your web server. Now, you can do it on Windows platform as well, but we'll try to see that how can we install it on Kali Linux and how can we run and host our basic HTML pages on Kali Apache Web Server. Now, the second tool that I'll be using today is uh, Microsoft Expressions Web. It's discontinued by Microsoft, but you can find the download links for that on the internet. It's a free trial, trial application which is available on the internet. You can install it and I'll teach you that how can we manage basic HTML pages using Expressions Web. Now, as you can see, this is our Kali box. So um, as we do it, we'll just open our Kali box and make sure that you are logged in as the administrator. I'll zoom in a little bit so that you can see it clearly what we are doing. So uh, first of all, we'll have to um, check if we have the um, Apache installed or not but for that we'll have to log in as a super user so once we are logged in as a super user I'll pass in a command to install it so I'll type in sudo apt and install and then I'll write Apache 2 and I'll press enter so it would install it maybe if it's already installed on your computer but still it's better to run the command so that it can update if you have an older version of it. Now, if I want to run the service of Apache, I'll type in sudo um, service and then I'll type Apache 2 and then start. So that would start the service for Apache. If you need to check the status of it, so you'll type it status over here and it would show that it is active and it's running on your computer. Now, likewise, if you'll try to cancel or if you would like to stop the service, you'll pass in a command to stop the service. So we wrote start over here. Um, we can stop the service like this by typing stop and it would stop the service since we'll be using it. So I'll start the service and I'll show you how can you check it and how can you utilize it. The other thing is that once it's running on your computer, it means that you'll have to find an IP address for that so can you can access it from the host machine as well. So if you'd like to find the IP address of your um, web server over here, you'll type IP ADDR and you can see that it's showing that it's running on this IP address. But before that, let me show you that if it is actually running or not, you'll open your um, browser, whatever you have installed on your computer. Since Firefox comes in pre-installed, you'll type in HTTP and localhost. So it should show you this basic page. It means that the basic default page is running uh, that shows that you have a fully configured Apache web server running on this computer. Now, if you want to find the files where it is actually getting the files on this computer, so you'll go to files and then you'll go to the Kali box and then you'll go to var and www in HTML. That's the file that is actually it's picking to show the website on your screen. Now our next task is that since we have the server up and running, um, we need to uh, go to the path where we found the files over there. So in order to go to the path, we'll type in CD and then I'll type in the path VAR www.html and if I list the files, you can see index.html and rest of the things available over here. So I need to replace this file so that I will be able to run my own website on this server or I'll host another file and I'll try to access it from there. Now, um, let's try to see if we can log in using this IP address from our host machine. So for that, we'll come back to our host machine. We'll open another tab and we'll type in the address and the IP address of our virtual machine and press enter. And as you can see, it has loaded the page. It means that the page which is hosted on our 
Kali virtual box it is loaded over here now we need to make some modifications on this one and for that i am going to use a very basic tool which is uh, web expressions that i showed you um, a couple of minutes ago when we started the video and once you will install it it would look like this now the beauty of this software is that you can learn the coding in this one as well as it would show you that how can you actually make your own html page now it is the basic interface of it it started a page untitled means that it's not saved so there's no harm even if you'll delete all those things from here so there's nothing so if i would like to create a page and welcome to my website and as you can see if i'm typing in over here it is generating the code in the back end now this first title is about the meta tag of the content which tells us that what kind of content we'll be adding on this one plus we add some meta tags as well which helps on crawlers to understand that uh, it would be picked by the search engines uh, quickly uh, depending what kind of website is it is it for sales for any sort of marketing on anything so we can get rid of this at the moment but it won't make any difference on the website so since we added the text over here you have the toolbar over here just like you have in uh, microsoft word you can make the text bold um, you can even um, align it in the center you can even increase the size of it by clicking on this button and uh, um, you can change the color of the text as well by clicking this thing so there are lots of different options on this one so we are just doing it just to understand that see this is the header of the file then we have a style that it's adding to it and we have aligned it in the center and then we have uh, selected the text size as extra large and it is identifying the color of the text that we have over here so once that's done you can save the file you can name the file or keep the name as it is as default.html create a folder on your desktop from where you'll be able to import it to your virtual box and save the file now I'll try to open the file and show you in the browser that how it looks like on my computer. And as you can see, it has saved the file on my desktop. If I'll right click on it and try to open it on Notepad++, you can see the same code over here for that website. Now I'll try to open it in a browser as well. And as you can see, the file is loaded on my browser. It's called default.html, but I am running it from my desktop. Now, I would like to host it on our web server just to make sure that our website is hosted on the web server and we'll be able to see it from there. So in order to do that, we'll transfer this file from my host machine to my virtual machine by simply dragging and dropping it on the desktop, which is our virtual machine. As you can see, I have moved the file in documents on my virtual machine. So I'll copy it from here. Better to open it as administrator. Go to www root and try to go to HTML and paste the file over here. So since now we have pasted the file over there, we'll try to access it over here by typing in the address, like what's the name of the file, default.html, and press enter, and you can see that we have loaded our website. Now if we'll try to access it from the browser on our host machine, before we had this page, so since we have added a new page, I'll call it default.html html over here and it loaded the page that we just uploaded so that's how it works that's how you configure an apache on your kali box and that's how you work on the html documents and upload it on your kali machine that's it for today thank you very much